guys, it's Nova, and welcome back to The Monster in Me. In the previous episode, we got the, uh, basically the ending that gave the game its name, and in order to achieve that, we basically, uh, made Anna very upset with us, and then we ultimately chose to put, uh, Carol and Adam, the mother and son pair, out of the, uh, shelter when he got too noisy. So, um... I'm actually not even sure what ending I'm going to try and achieve yet. Obviously, you'll be able to tell by the name of the episode, or at least it'll be alluded to. But for now, let's just get started. And as per the usual, I will basically skip ahead until uh, I make an, a decision. So that way, for those of you who are maybe trying to get the ending yourselves, you'll know what choices I made in order to get it. Uh, for now, let's just do this. Alright, so we're at our first decision where I've been asked to give my opinion about the uh, warehouse that we're staying at. Um, hmm. Like, I'm not even sure what, like, if I'm going to be negative towards a person or positive towards a person, so that's going to actually kind of influence my first choice. Um, you know what, I'll be honest, and I'll see you guys at the next decision. I'm pretty sure that this um, makes both characters upset, so actually, let me just zoom ahead real quick and confirm that. It's been a, quite a number of days since I've actually played this game. I know you guys probably can't tell because I've been uploading regularly, but I, lo I recorded a boatload of episodes in advance, so... It'll seem like I only just did this not too long ago. Okay, two more out. But it's actually been a few weeks since I've actually played this game, so I kind of have to get familiar with uh, certain mechanics. Alright, so I'm pretty sure there's going to be another decision soon, so I'll see you guys when I get there. Alright, so we're at the decision where basically I have to decide whether or not Anna... I think Anna should rest, or if I think uh, Jacob is right in securing the place. Um, huh. I think I'm going to go along the path in making Anna upset, and I'm trying to think, um, I saw what happens if I do that with Bill, and I saw what happens if I do that with Carol and Adam. So far, the only other ending that I haven't really seen how Anna reacts if I make her super upset is the one with the uh, couple, I think Eloise and Simon or something like that. So I'm going to try and get that ending and try to get my relationship as low as possible with uh, Anna and see what happens there. So I'm going to actually agree. agree. <sighs> this is what happens when you start recording first thing in the morning. Agree with Jacob. And, uh, I'll see you guys when we get to the next decision. Alright, so we're at the decision where the mystery woman outside of the, uh, warehouse is calling out for help. Anna's like, we need to help her. Jacob's like, no. Obviously, I'm going to do nothing. And I will see you guys at the next decision. Alright, so we're at the decision where Jacob just asked me to help us our supplies. I'm going to be honest, um... Again, I have yet to see where lying about the rations actually does anything for the story. Maybe it does, and I just haven't really picked up on it, but I haven't noticed like a change in morale or anything like that. So I'm just going to be honest, and I'll see you guys when we get to the next decision. Alright, so not long after the, the last one, we got the decision now to either side with Jacob and tell him he should go to the supermarket to look for supplies or side with Anna to try to reason with Jacob. Um, I'm going to side with Jacob, and I will see you guys at the next decision. Okay, so now I've been asked by Anna if I think that Jacob is okay since he's been gone for what she feels like is too long. I'm going to be honest because I'm pretty sure... Actually, I can't say that. I'm not sure if she actually gets upset when I say that or not. I know lying doesn't actually change her morale, surprisingly, but let me just see real quick. Okay, she does lose morale. Okay. 
Alright, so let's just go ahead and get to the next decision. Alright, so we're at the decision now where we either let Bill into the warehouse or we choose to like be wary and kind of ignore it. Um, normally, I would be like, let's trust Jacob just to upset Anna, but then that's going to definitely get, get us one of the Bill endings, which I don't want. Um, so I'm going to actually click be wary this one time and like side with Anna so that we can get the uh, other ending. And I'll see you guys in a few. Alright, so we're at the decision now that uh, Eloise and Simon are knocking on our door and I'm being asked what should we do. Um, again, if I be cautious, they're just going to overrule me and let them in anyway. But I think if I'm cautious, they don't get as much as a morale boost as if I say let them in. Like, I think if I say let them in, they get a two-point boost. Whereas if I say be cautious, they'll only get a one. I might be wrong about that. Don't exactly quote me on that. But I am going to choose to be cautious. Just so that, um... Anna and, you know, Jacob get the least amount of morale from, uh, from this action. And I'll see you guys when we get to the next decision. Alright, so I'm at the decision now where I can try to be friendly towards them or I can say nothing. I'm pretty sure if I say nothing, that's going to actually lower Anna's morale even further. So, I will do that. And I'll see you guys when we get to what's probably the final decision before we get an ending. So, I'll see you then. Alright, so I was right. We are at the final decision now where I can choose to either let Jacob attack Simon and Eloise or I can intervene. Um, now, this is interesting. I had said that I wanted to see what would happen if Anna's morale was at the pretty much the lowest point I think I could get it and uh, see what happens with this storyline. Now, I'm wondering one of two things. If I choose to let Jacob kill him, you know, how is she going to react? Like, is she going to be super mad? Is she going to, like, wig out and attack him or something? And then, two, if I tell him to stop, you know, like, I'm pretty sure we're going to still get thrown out of the warehouse like we did in one of the other endings. But then what is Anna going to do now that she's seen, like, we pretty much don't listen to her and that we pretty much don't, uh, well, not so much we, but I know she's gonna really not want to be around Jacob, but will she, like, wander off to be on her own? So this is interesting. I could kind of probably get two endings from this. Only downside is that the game doesn't let you save. At least I haven't figured it out yet. Like, it lets you save your progress. So, like, if I get to a decision like this, I can just save and then, like, reload and try and get the other ending. Um... You know what? Mm. Like I'm scared. Like I'm scared if I click on an option two that I did this all for nothing. You know what? Let me see what happens if I tell Jacob to kill him. Jacob shot Eloise and killed her. He tried to shoot Simon too, but only wounded him. Crazed by grief, Simon picked up his gun and shot Jacob. Anna tried to stop him, but got caught in the- Oh! Simon killed them both before you can get to him. You shot him. You're the only one left- Holy shit. Like, I know the second I saw that drawing that this was going to be an ominous ending, but wow. I did not know it was going to turn out like that. <sighs> okay. Um. Wow, the first time I played this game in weeks and I get an ending like this. Huh. <sighs> 
Okay, let me see what that was. Caught in the crossfire. Boy. I don't know how I feel about that. Like, I've had other endings that I've really kind of, like, sat here, like, in silence just mulling over what I did, but... I don't know why... Wow. Like, I don't know why this is affecting me so much, you know? I guess what it is, too, is that I'm still sort of surprised that Anna got in the middle like that. Like, I mean, I, I get she's, like, the more sentimental uh, member of the group, whereas uh, Jacob's the more pragmatic one. So I guess it's not entirely surprising that she jumped in the middle. But at the same time, because we have been so negative towards her, I didn't think that she would still be well. <sighs> Man. Okay. Well then, that happened. And um, that's going to be it for this episode of The Monster in Me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one, and I hope to see you again next time. Take care.